Hi, this is Harry Guinness, and in this tutorial for computers.tuts plus, I'm going to take a look at Keyboard Maestro. Keyboard Maestro is a productivity and automation app for the Mac. You can create macros or strings of actions that are triggered by different keyboard shortcuts or system events. Keyboard Maestro has a reputation for being a difficult app to use, and it's partly true. The app is more of a tool. Very little comes pre-configured, so you have to do a lot of setting up yourself. Over the next few tutorials, I'm going to take you through that setting up process. There's very little you can't do with Keyboard Maestro, and it can lead to a sort of paralysis where you're presented with thousands of options and not a clue what to do. This series will eliminate that. This tutorial is going to start really basic. We're just going to start by exploring the Keyboard Maestro interface and creating a simple first macro and trigger. The app open on screen isn't actually Keyboard Maestro, it's the Keyboard Maestro editor. Keyboard Maestro is a menu bar app that runs in the background. Once you have it set up, you should rarely have to actually interact with it. The editor is split into three panes, the macro groups, the macros in the groups, and then the macro editor. Different macro groups allow you to control when macros are activated. For example, I've got this photo and video editing group, and it's currently available in all applications, but I could change that so it's only available in specific applications. This means you can use the same triggers for different apps as long as they're in different macro groups and the groups are set up so they don't overlap. Let's create a new group, and we'll call it Tuts plus example macros. Let's leave it available in all applications for the time being. Create a new macro then, click on the little plus down there, and we'll call this go to tuts plus. And that's the very basics of the macro setup. Next, we need to define a trigger and then decide what we want it to do. To set a trigger, click on the new trigger button, and then you can choose from one of 16 options. As I said at the start of the video, there's very little that can't be used to trigger Keyboard Maestro. The most common trigger is the hotkey trigger, and you'll also find yourself using things like the application trigger, login trigger, possibly the time trigger, while logged in trigger, the mounted volume, USB, and wireless network triggers, and the others you'll use less frequently, possibly the macro palette trigger as well. In the written tutorial that accompanies this video, I break down what each of the triggers does. For this action, we're going to run with a hotkey trigger. Next, we need to decide what we want the trigger. I'm going to use Control, Option, Shift, and T. Combinations of Control, Option, Shift, along with the letter, tend to be fairly safe and aren't taken over by system shortcuts. Keyboard Maestro runs on top of the system shortcuts. If, for example, you assign Command Q, which is the quit shortcut, to Keyboard Maestro, Keyboard Maestro will use it instead of the system. So don't do that with something you want to use. You can also use a script to trigger Keyboard Maestro. Next, we need to set the actions. So click New Action, and then navigate to Google Chrome Control, and then New Google Chrome Tab. This macro is going to do exactly what it says in the name. It's going to go to Tuts Plus. So double click on new Chrome tab, and then we want the URL to be HTTP colon slash slash tuts plus dot com. If we want to test this, we can click on try, and then nothing happens. That's because Google Chrome isn't currently the active window on screen. However, if I scroll across to where Google Chrome is, there's a new tab that's on the tuts plus homepage. So let's fix this so that Chrome activates as soon as the new tab starts to load Tuts Plus. Go to the Application Control category in the Actions and select Activate a specific application. Double click to bring it up and then from the drop down select Google Chrome. Now if we click on Try here, this will bring us straight to Google Chrome. And that's the macro setup. So let's check it out. So if I hold down Control, Option, Shift, and T we should be taken to Google Chrome with a new tab that loads Tuts Plus. This is obviously a very simple and introductory macro. If you look at the actions menu 
in Keyboard Maestro, you can see that there are hundreds of different actions to choose from, and any combination of these is possible. Over the rest of this series, we're going to be diving deeper into some of these countless actions and setting up some really complex workflows that work together to totally automate a lot of your Mac. Thank you, I'm Harry Guinness, and you should check out the written post below for some more detailed information on some of the things I've covered in this video.